Cash Register Express Tutorial and Reference Guide. Getting started. Before you can ring up a sale, you must first add at least one item. To add an item, press on the Quick Setup button. Adding a new item. To add an item, press on a vacant item button. Updating or deleting an item. Press on the item to update or delete it. Adding a discount. Press the black discount box to add a discount percentage or flat amount for the entire order. Sales Tax Press the black tax box to add or update a sales tax percentage. Item Page Tabs You can add up to 108 items viewing 9 at a time. The 12 page tabs allow you to scroll through all the items on your list. Press the page tab to show the buttons on that page. If a button is green, it means that the page has items defined in it. If an item button is orange, it means it is tax exempt. The cash register. You are now ready to ring up a sale. Press the cash register button. Ringing up a sale. Quantities. There are three ways to set the item quantity for a sale. Press here to choose the best option for your needs. When you choose this option, the quantity will be increased by one every time you press the item name. Pressing the quantity button will subtract 1 from the quantity. This option will let you put in your own quantity, including fractional quantities. An example would be if you are selling deli items by the pound or fabric by the foot. Use this option if you want to bring up sales very quickly. It lets you pick a quantity with one press. Example of a sale. changing prices, taxes, or discounts during a sale. Anytime during a sale, you can change the price by pressing it. You can also change the sales tax or discount by just pressing it. Calculating Change If you would like the app to calculate the change to give back to the customer, press the Calculate Change button. Press on the denominations that the customer gives you. You can also manually enter what the customer gives you. This is the change to give back to the customer. These are the denominations to give back to the customer. 
If you run out of a denomination, press the denomination and the app will recalculate the change without that denomination. The app supports many foreign currencies which will be shown later in this tutorial. Finalizing the sale. When finished, press the button with the yellow check mark. This will complete the transaction and prompt you with the option to give the customer a receipt. Customizing receipts. Information in this box will appear as the header on your receipt. Check this box if you don't want the app to prompt you for a receipt every time you finish a sale. When this box is checked off, the app will prompt you for an additional line to add to the receipt. An example of using this feature would be whether the customer paid by cash or check and to add the check number to the receipt. This option will automatically put a transaction number on each receipt. The transaction number is increased by one for each receipt. You can change the starting transaction number by specifying it here. Resizing the item buttons. Use the slider bar to make the text larger or smaller on the item buttons. Stores. The app lets you maintain up to four separate stores. Each store has its own item list. A sale can only contain items from one store. Press on the store number to switch stores. The store number lit up in green will be the store used by the cash register. Arranging items in your item list. This button can reorganize the items on your list by the following. Sort all the items alphabetically. Condense all the items by removing blank items between buttons. Delete all items in list. These operations cannot be undone. Back up your item list first. Moving an item in your item list. In Quick Setup, press on the price to move an individual item or shift your items. Foreign Currencies. The app has many currencies. The currency is used to calculate what denominations to give back to the customer. To change to a currency, press the currency name. Lock Admin Functions The Lock Admin feature gives you the option to disable all buttons except for the cash register. To set up a Lock Admin code, go to the Settings option in Quick Setup. Inventory. Press on this button to add the items you want to track. If an item appears in red, it means the quantity on hand fell below the reorder point that you set. A blue dot on the inventory button indicates that at least one item fell below its reorder quantity that was set. Sales totals. Sales totals are tallied every time you complete a transaction. Sales totals are initialized every time you press this button. Voiding the last transaction will adjust the inventory and sales totals to the levels before the voided transaction. Pressing the details button will list the individual sales. Pressing this button will email you the sales data in a comma delimited format that you can paste into a spreadsheet. Device sharing. The item list device sharing button lets you copy a store's item list from one device to another. You can also copy an item list from one store to another store within the same device. After pressing this button, press on the explanation of how it works button for more details. Backup and restore. The backup and restore locally saves a copy of the item list in all four stores on your device. 
This feature is useful if you plan on making major changes to your item list and want the capability of reverting to your original item list before the changes were made. Note that the backup is not stored in the cloud and does not exist if you delete the app. Team Selling Team Selling is a powerful feature that lets you set up a sales team selling the same items. You can create an item list that is automatically sent to each sales member's device. Sales Totals keeps track of transactions across the team and are automatically summed up on your device as sales happen. For a detailed tutorial, press Team Selling Tutorial. Available on both iOS and Android.